there, and thank you for joining me. I am Tammy C. Walker, owner of Dreams Are Reality. Today, I want to talk about how to keep your hope. You know, these times we're going through right now, March 29th, 2020, they are testing our fate, testing our strength muscle, testing our anxiety levels, testing our relationships all around us. It's just testing us to the highest power. I talk to different people. Some people, they're able to sustain. They don't quite seem affected. And I talk to others, it's really bothering them. So whichever way you choose to feel during this time, let's just say it's acceptable. We are going into areas we've never been into. And the number one thing to do is to panic or it causes fear, fear of the unknown. I think it's bothering all of us, regardless of who we are how much money we make, what color we are, what religion we have, or et cetera, et cetera. But before I get started, if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe and everyone please hit like. So I did write down some bullet points, some things I want to leave with you to help you keep your hope. So first thing you want to do is dig deep. Remembering a very bad time that you had in your life. What is it that you use to pull yourself out of it? It doesn't matter your age or where you come from. Whoever's watching this video, every one of us have dealt with something. And I can tell you the things I've dealt with. Being financially, you know, ruined. Of course, you all know that we have watched my channel breast cancer twice. And I was only 36, just to let you know. Divorce. Miscarriage heartbreak. Both of my parents passed away and I can name other things that I have had to face. Sometimes when I faced some of those times, I panicked. I freaked out and it did not go well for me for a while. So when I did have a miscarriage, I was so emotionally distraught. I could not see the forest for the trees, just devastated. And that was okay. But the unfortunate part was I stayed in that place for a while and it affected everything around me so that's why I always mention keeping your attitude good during bad times and I know when I say that some people don't understand but when you panic during a dark time it only makes whatever happening seem 50 billion times worse and it's going to cause you not to be able to think and make good decisions and this is a time where we need to think clearly Number two, talk to inspiring people. And the more I talk to various people, I'm learning everyone is not inspiring. And there are some people that are not the best to talk to during these times because they are naturally negative or they don't really see the forest for the trees. So once you talk to them, they are going to dump their negativity onto you. And right now we can't have that. So you want to go to the wiser people or the people that have used their faith or have been through things and they've come out on the other side. Those inspiring people can help uplift you right now if you're feeling down. And I don't want you to beat yourself up if you're feeling down or anxious or worried. This is all common for a time such as this. Tip number three. I often talk about meditation and in the body of this video, I will leave the link for Deepak Chopra's and Oprah Winfrey's meditation. It's a 21 day free meditation. We are on day five. It helps to keep you calm because it's easy to have anxiety. Please use this meditation with earbuds. Exercise. Um, I haven't been doing a lot myself, but I have been getting my steps in. So I'm at 8,000 for today and... I encourage you to do exercise. How hypocritical of me, right? Um, I have my free weights right next to me, so I can always grab those while I'm watching TV. And I do have a trampoline that I am going to be jumping on, a rebounder. So if that's something you're interested in, those go for 40, 50 bucks, probably 35 to 50. And it's a baby, a small trampoline. It does not bounce you to your ceiling. It's just low... Um, you know, it's a low bounce, so you're just going to bounce a little. It helps regulate oxygen, which is important for, for right now. Your cells, it helps keep your lungs going. It helps promote positivity. And if you want to know more, type in 
advantages to using a rebounder or benefits and it's it's a lot of them so another good piece of equipment that you can get so tip number five what i do is i use my oyster juicer o-s-t-e-r bought it from target for 25 bucks i juice spinach blueberries and apples or i do spinach cucumbers today i did spinach cucumbers and beets and a little bit of filter water and i drink it and it helps me have energy. It helps my immune system. You want to keep your immune system up at this time. And in conjunction with my juicing, I take a vitamin B as in boy, 12. D as in dog. I take several of those. I take a multivitamin. I take a probiotic. I pop in some zinc. I do this every day. Not zinc every day. But I do everything else every day. And between the two, I seem to have a pretty good immune. Lord knows we need that for right now. Tip number six, what about your inspiring books? This is a good time to pull out some of the more positive books. You know, um, for me, I'm a Bible reader, so I have been reading my Bible. Kind of it fell off um, since this happened because I had that routine of getting up, going to my table, reading, and I, I stay in bed later now because I'm working remote. But I've still been doing some reading. I have, but I was on a good track. But read whatever inspires you. There's some um, inspiring blogs out here. It's so much to read. So you can order books from Amazon for $1 to use books. You can order on, from other places. You can use free ebooks. It's so much you can do as far as books go. Or just, it's a lot of PDFs that you can just download online. So read those inspiring books. This is a time where we need inspiration. Pray, 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 pray. If you have never prayed before and you believe and you believe in prayer, this is the time. I was talking to a dear friend. She stays with her mom and dad and they do a prayer every day, which I thought was just remarkable. We cannot go wrong with prayer in conjunction with the prayer for the Bible believers and readers. Psalm 91 is a prayer of protection, the whole book. Also, limit the news. My phone has been chiming with a lot of negativity. And this virus is its uncertain. It's sad when you hear a baby die or all of these people that they're naming. And when you watch the news, they do not have a vaccination. They don't know how long we're going to be in this situation they're bickering back and forth, Democrats against Republicans. It's not much good being said. They're not saying like, oh, so far, 300,000 survived. All we're hearing is the bad side of it. And maybe that's what's going on now, a lot of the bad side. But how much can you and I take in before it affects our sleep, before we're snapping at our loved ones? So limit the news. And I already know people are going to say, you want to know what's going on, but all day, that's just me. Again, when I speak on these videos, it's for me. This is what works for me. But I do say these things to help others because I know garbage in, garbage out. You're gonna get you're gonna get scared, I'm telling you, and you're gonna start getting negative and you're stuck in the house. So you gotta keep your spirits up. Last but not least, visualize, 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 visualize some good news coming. Visualize someone on the news saying the virus has slowed down visualize that they have a date for us to start gradually resuming back to our old life or some resemblance of it visualize when you visualize these things will come to pass and last but not least just take it one day at a time don't start thinking about may 12th or by april 30th it's going to make you upset we don't have control over this and you're going to get depressed, some of us. So try to go one day at a time. Try to make today a good day. For an example, for me, I, I stayed in a bed a little bit late. I watched a good movie on Netflix. Netflix has been my friend. It's called Uncorked, about a gentleman who his dad had a barbecue business, but he wanted to study wine in Paris. It was good. It was good with um, Courtney Vance, Niecy Nash, and I do not know the name of the lead gentleman. He is from somewhere else. His name is kind of hard, so I don't know, know him, and I think he's a more newer actor. 
but I enjoyed it on Netflix. So get you some Netflix movies going, good books, spend time, you live with someone, spend time with them, maybe play some dominoes, chess, some games. You can play some games on your phone, watch my videos on YouTube, watch other very inspiring people on YouTube. Write your list of things you're going to do once things get back to normal, your goals, um, get a positive routine going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, because that's what's going to get you through these bad times. And if you are one of the ones that have a lot of hope right now and you're positive, keep on believing. You know, all of us going to, we are going to band together. And for the ones who don't believe or who have no hope, that's okay. You just stick with us. And that's what life is all about. You have strong and you have some that are a little down. We all in this together. And the strong will help those that feel a little weak or shaken right now. And it's okay. Tammy Sharice Walker, owner of Dreams Art Reality. Hit like, hit subscribe. Thank you all as always. I appreciate all my viewers. Bye-bye.